right about two o'clock this afternoon, we got a call for a residential structure fire confirmed, which means somebody saw flames showing. And uh, they responded multiple units from all over Pasco, as well as mutual aid agencies to come and help. When the first unit got here, we had a little bit of flame in the front of the attic area. So crews started setting up uh, to try and get inside to do an initial search. Uh, managed to get, all the doors were locked. It was a little tough to get inside. Once we gained entry, did the initial search, realized nobody was inside. And then we turned our attention to the attic fire. We have high winds, as you all know today. And uh, it's really an issue when we have winds like this in an attic fire. It tends to blow the flame right through the attic. And that was our worst case when we got inside. They started poking holes in the ceiling, realized we had fire from one end of the house to the other. And so we had to pull crews out and started doing more of an exterior attack until we could make that safe for firefighters inside. Uh, unfortunately, with the age of the house and the style of construction it is, uh, it's pretty much going to be a, it's going to be a complete loss. And so firefighters, while they were inside, worked at anything they could of value that looked of value. We managed to get some pictures out, some clothing out, some other items that they could see that looked like it might be of value and got those out for the homeowner. Nobody was injured on the scene and we're just now making contact with the homeowner. We don't have any names or any other information um, when they were last home or anything like that. So at this time it's under investigation. There was enough fire damage that there was no real even obvious initial start from the fire when we got inside. So investigators will have to dig around a little bit and figure out from there.